2019 served as an ideal platform for over 400 plus builders and developers from across the state to put forth their demands before the government. Some of the concerns raised by the builders include formation of uniform zonal regulations, rare registration with a time frame of 30 days, demarcation of buffer zones in a scientific manner, and decentralization of decisions in government institutions like BBMP and PWSSB. The builders also push for reduction in stamp duty and plan sanction fees for affordable housing projects. They also demanded separate regulation norms for NPAs in real estate as well as single window clearance within 15 days. There should not be frequent changes in the policy. If those are there and somewhere we can time, save our time, because the moment we start our project, any kind of delay will cost us heavily. It's our long demand to give industry status to the real estate sector. In fact, today we are the largest employment generation in the country. Even agriculture was earlier, today we have around 49, say I would say 5 crore of direct employment, including labor and other agencies who are working with the real estate. So with this kind of employment generation and have a direct multiplier effect on around 272 ancillary sector of real estate. So real estate plays a very major role. So somewhere if they can give us industry status and somewhere they can bring down the cost of capital, there will be a good impetus for the real estate sector. Reduction of stamp duty, which uh, the deputy CM also observed that. And uh, second is on uh, the deployment of skill development funds that is to be done to a labor so that we upscale our laborers. Third is of course the uh, ease of doing business on sanctions and others because we want single window, really a single window. Title insurance which is another big demand by all of us because establishing a title is the biggest challenge for us. And of course, uh, the, uh, we are, when we are addressing the CES, the labor related issues because there are too many acts and laws that govern the industry. We need to rationalize and make real estate have a special single agency which addresses all the need and rules and regulations of the industry. While these were the concerns raised by the credit, the government had its own set of suggestions and assurances. This lighted up the hopes of the real estate builders and developers for sure, but it also brought in a new set of opportunities and responsibilities for them. Minister for Large and Medium Scale Industries, Jagadish Shetter, had a piece of advice for the Credai members. He asked them to concentrate less on Bengaluru and spread across to other Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities like Hubli and Darbar. My main intention is discourage Bengaluru centric. Have a industry development, all other uh, sector development in a two tier cities. We have to go to North Karnataka, we have to go to other backward talukas, backward districts. It is my intention that will be included in the new industrial policy. And the Credal members happily welcome Shetter's suggestions. This is what they had to say in reaction to it. If the, any, the government has come forward to start, or any investors they come forward to start in areas like Belgaum and Gulbarga, definitely is the best future for automobile industry in that area. Maybe for Bangalore, they could, some of the IT companies can be migrated to very nearby to Mysore. And uh, Ubli Darwad, some construction materials for industries can be taken up there because there the uh, technology people are available there, their ambience also is good for those things. So wherever the economic growth is there and the demand is there, uh, developers are there to cater to those markets. When asked about the top 5 tier 2 and tier 3 cities and the sectors that would be helpful in this regard, this is what the builders had to say. Chikmanglu district, Hasan district, Karwar, Kokarna. All those areas have immense uh, potential for uh, leisure uh, tourism. We have so many good spots in Karnataka which are not tapped. We are trying to partner with the government and develop this so that we develop the second generation, second level of uh, uh, workforce and we train them up there and, and create employment opportunities for them in a large scale. All in all, Credai StateCon 2019 served as an ideal platform for both the builders and the government to engage in a meaningful dialogue. Hope this interaction results in a win-win situation, benefiting the consumers more than anyone else. Hope you liked our report on Credai StateCon 2019. Do follow me on Twitter, Insta and Facebook for all the latest updates on real estate.